the top 10 highest paying technology related careers. That is what we're gonna talk about today. This is based off of data that I collected on glassdoor.com. These are going to be common careers, the really rare ones out there where there's like, you know, maybe a couple hundred of them in the entire world. Obviously, not enough people report those on sites like Glassdoor or Indeed.com, so I won't be including those. But this will likely give you a very good idea of some of the top paying careers in what is probably the best industry that you could possibly work in in the entire world. If you appreciate videos like that, go ahead, gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms. And the best possible thing you can do is share this video with other people because I don't have a big marketing team like universities do, so I'm not able to get the truth out there. So that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into it right away with one of the careers that's probably the easiest to get into at the entry level, and that is technology sales. And specifically, the type of technology sales is going to be business to business. So you're not gonna be selling to individual people. It's not gonna be one of those sales jobs where you're just approaching random people out in public or anything like that, or you're being like kind of a sketchy used car salesman sort of thing. You're basically building relationships with companies that you might sell your technology products to. Now, this is one of my favorite careers. I've talked about it several times on the channel. Not gonna be the best choice for everybody because let's be honest, not everybody wants to do sales, but this is one of those careers where you can make really good money right off the bat. We're talking something like 70, 80,000, even more in your first year. This is one of the only careers I know of out there where you can switch in into it without a college degree, certification, or prior experience within a month or two. So yes, you've heard that right. You can literally get a job within a month or two where you can make 70 to 80,000 and even more your first year. And I'm gonna be interviewing somebody on the channel pretty soon. It may already be out by the time this posts because I typically put interviews first, but he makes over $500,000 a year doing tech sales. Okay, so you can make really good money right off the bat. There's a lot of room for vertical growth. And the best thing is nobody knows a company's customers better better than the people who sell to them. So that means there's a lot of different positions that you could potentially move into after you've become a really good tech salesperson. Now my friend Troy, who I interviewed on the channel, actually trains people in tech sales. And I'll put that interview like right up here. I think it's like right here. And I also interviewed Abdul on the channel, who was able to get a tech sales job and make over $70,000 in their first year. And I'll also put that up right here if YouTube lets me. Now, if you're interested in tech sales, you wanna learn more about it or how people are getting jobs in like one to two months, which is just completely unheard of. You can check out Troy's free training, which I will put down in the description below, as well as the pinned comment. And if you decide to use his service because he actually gets you interviews himself with these companies that are looking for tech salespeople, he's sort of like a middleman between the tech sales talent and the companies, as well as training you, then you can use my coupon code, which is Shane50. I will also put that down in the description and the pinned comment. Next one on the list, number nine is going to be an information security engineer. And this is somebody who oversees an organization's IT security activity. Now, this is also somebody who typically has a good amount of experience in either IT, cybersecurity, or preferably both. And you can expect to make about $131,000 a year. Number eight on the list is one of my favorite careers. It's one of my favorite types of software development careers specifically, and that is DevOps engineer. So software development, software engineering is a relatively new field. And if you look at these fields like lawyer, doctor, etc., almost all of them tend to branch out into certain specialties and some specialties make a lot more money than others. And typically not only do they make a lot more money, but on top of that, they usually have better lifestyle, they're more sought after and they're more respected. Now it's gonna be interesting to see which specialties stand out when it comes to software development and software engineering, but I would not be surprised if DevOps engineering is one of them. And the reason for that is because your whole job as a DevOps engineer is to get stuff launched as fast as possible so so that you can save the company time and money. And you're basically kind of like half information technology and half software developer. And you can expect to make about $141,000 a year on average. Next one on the list is going to be a computer and information systems manager. And you're basically going to be helping a company to make sure their IT infrastructure meets the business's goals. Now this is not an entry level job. You typically have to have some experience in IT, but you can expect to make about $142,000 a year with this one. Next 
next one on the list is actually relatively similar and that is going to be a technical program manager so with this one you're also going to be working on an organization's IT structure but you're usually going to be working on new projects so when an organization is rolling out a new project they're obviously going to need some IT infrastructure and they're going to need somebody to kind of design that and so this is typically what you would be doing as a technical program manager and with this job you'd expect to make about hundred and forty five thousand dollars a year next one on the list number five is a really cool one and that is going to be blockchain engineer and this is going to be basically a software developer that specifically works with cryptocurrency and blockchain technology so you'd be working with something like ethereum or ripple or solana and as you can imagine cryptocurrency is huge right now it's only going to get bigger in the future there's so much exciting stuff coming out with the metaverse and web 3.0 and you know it is going down right now just like it did in 2017 but it's probably going to rebound and there's going to be a ton of opportunity in the future and here pretty soon they're even going to be coming out with some projects that have some practical use cases hopefully so yeah really exciting stuff uh, they get paid on average about hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year just ridiculous number four on the list is going to be a software developer manager and this is somebody who oversees other software developers so you do have to have some sort of familiarity with software development yourself and then you also have to have managerial skills and you can expect to make about hundred and fifty three thousand dollars a year in this job number three on the list is going to be executives in general but specifically I'm going to talk about the chief information officer this is one of the highest positions that you can get into in the tech career and depending on the company you work for you can make a ridiculous amount of money in this position because it is an executive type position and basically you are going to oversee the organization's entire information technology infrastructure so you have to have a very good understanding of the business side of things as well as the information technology side of things and in this position on average you can expect to make about hundred and sixty one thousand dollars a year but if you work for certain companies you can definitely clear well over five hundred thousand a year next one on the list is another pretty high level position and that is going to be a marketing or sales director now the truth is in order to have a successful company you have to have customers that buy your products and how do customers buy your products they either buy it through marketing or sales so at the end of the day all this other stuff is great you know you have to build infrastructure and you have to make sure everything's maintained and you have to make sure everything is safe and all that but at the end of the day if you want to have a successful company you have to have people buying your products or services and that is going to happen because of sales or marketing now one of the highest positions that you can get to is a marketing or sales director position and marketing directors for instance on average in the US make about hundred and eighty four thousand dollars a year but it really does depend on the company that you work for so for instance there are are marketing executives out there that make over nine million dollars a year like Jeremy Burton did last year he made about 9.6 million and then number one on the list is going to be no surprise it's going to of course be the CEO of a company in the technology industry now CEOs typically make about two hundred and forty one thousand dollars a year on average but you see a lot of outliers for instance Chad Richeson is the CEO of Paycom and he made two hundred and eleven million dollars last year Elon Musk is the CEO of Tesla and he made over six billion dollars and if you take into account stock options and how much equity they have in their company many CEOs make even more than that so for instance people estimate Elon Musk made over a hundred billion dollars last year although he recently lost a lot of that net worth so yeah being a CEO in the industry that has the most opportunity out of just about any industry out there can be quite lucrative as you could imagine now some people become CEOs by starting their own company that's probably the most common opportunity option others will actually work their way up into a company and then when the CEO quits or retires or whatever they will take their place so yeah definitely check out my interview with Abdul who's in tech sales and made about seventy thousand dollars over seventy thousand his first year go ahead gently tap that like button hit the subscribe button ring the notification bell and comment down below any thoughts comments criticisms etc that you have on the video and I will see you next time